The bike rack's claimed weight is 66 pounds and it weighs 66 pounds. It is not the easiest bike rack to walk around with and carry, but neither are most bike racks. First thing you wanna do with this bike rack is find the pin. So now we have that pin exposed. This is the safety pin. It does not go all the way through the bike rack. I can tell you from a year of use, it doesn't come out, even though it does look a little bit suspiciously weak. The stage two and all Yakima racks feature this ball. It makes a tool-free installation of the bike rack, which is really easy and nice. It makes transferring or taking it off the car nice because you don't have to get any tools out. Some bike racks, you can just come here and pull the button. This one, you have to pull the button, jostle it up. I thought it was broken out of the box when I first got it, but just cork you gotta get used to. When there's two 60 pound bikes, it can be a little bit challenging. It is what it is. The Yakima Stage 2 is rated for 32 kilograms, 70 pounds per bike. The RV rating is 60 pounds or 27 kilograms. Off-road capability is 19 kilograms or 42 pounds, so that would disclude your e-bikes. The rack is very overbuilt. I'm 220 pounds here, putting all the weight on one side like you shouldn't. It's very strong. Another great highlight of this rack, the arms are steel and they're very burly. If there's one bike rack I'm gonna overload, it's gonna be the Stage 2 Yakima. Even with its 70 pound weight rating, I'm gonna go jump on it with 220 pounds and I feel pretty confident. The Stage 2 features a high-end finish. It's like a clear coat as where most bike racks are powder coated. As you can see, this is what you can expect from one year of use. There is some wear into the clear coat, but overall it's a really nice finish. The footprint of the Yakima Stage 2 is really big. Everything about it is big. The arms, the trays, the wideness of the trays, the tire holders. The trays are staggered, so they actually stick out more outside of the car than normal. This is gonna help the bikes not hitting each other when you're driving down the road. The large footprint of this bike rack sticks out 40 inches outside of your car or 1,000 millimeters. Let me tell you the best thing about this bike rack. It turns into a cooking platform when you're camping, a workstation, getting dress station. It's basically like carrying a picnic table on your car. Everything's give and take in life. You are carrying a huge picnic table when you go camping, that's great. It does take up a lot of space when you're parking and the tray is folded down. Assembling the Yakima Stage 2 is not the easiest bike rack. It features security screws holding the trays on, making installation quite a bit more difficult. If you're a guy like me, make sure you read the directions because I didn't and I really struggled when putting it together. Once I read the directions and followed them precisely, everything went together. At the rate bikes are going, they're just getting bigger and bigger. This Yakima Stage 2 will be valid in a couple years. A lot of lighter weight bike racks aren't going to be good for e-bikes. Bike rack is slanted up, so when you're going up steep driveways, it doesn't whack on the end of the bike rack, but that doesn't fix the issue of this part being so low to the ground. As you can see, the scraper down there doesn't have much life left, but it is doing its job and the knob has survived one year. The rack is rated for a 1,320 millimeter wheelbase bicycle. It's about 52 inches. This is an S5 specialized Kinevo, but it's run in a mullet wheel. So the wheelbase is well beyond 1,320. So this rack can carry longer bikes than it says. As you can see here, it is completely maxed out on the rear, but I'm very confident carrying longer bikes than necessarily specced out on the website. So unloading the inner tray, this is a 57 pound bike. So it's a little bit challenging because this piece sticks out so far. I've got to straddle it, take it off. This is the best way to secure this bike rack to the bike's wheel. We're going to hold the release lever, move it as close to the fork as we can without touching it. Once I've pushed down into the tire just a little bit, now the bike is secure, but it's a little bit loose. Now we're looking for minimum two clicks. One, two. That was actually three tires a little bit flat. 
case you had some nice carbon rims, it does come with a protector here. I lost mine and I only use cheap aluminum rims, so it doesn't matter. The rear wheel clamp is a little bit on the chintzy side, but I personally haven't had any problems with the rear tire coming loose. It is kind of a bummer if you had some expensive carbon rims because I lost a little cover.